So our, on our next one, it says a lumber yard has a scrap sheet of plywood. So at a lumber yard, at like Home Depot, you can buy plywood. Plywood, plywood comes in rectangle sheets, they're called. It's not like a sheet on your bed, but just a board that's a rectangle. And it says that this sheet of plywood is 23 and 3 fourths inches, 23 and 3 fourths inches by 41 and 1 fifth inches. And we're finding the area. Now, this is a rectangle, so we're finding the area of our rectangle. So we're going to be using area equals length times width. Now, I know they're both fractions, but when I see this fraction, it makes me think, oh, I know what that number is, even if in the non-fraction form, the decimal form, I've memorized three-fourths. And then I see this one, one-fifth, and I know I can turn that five into a denominator of ten. So I'm always looking for opportunities to change these fractions into decimal because they're just easier form to work with. So 23 and 3 fourths could be written as 23 and 75 hundredths. 41 and 1 fifth, if I times both the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2, we get 41 and 2 tenths, or 41 and 2 tenths. So now I have a width, 23 and 75 hundredths, and a length, 42 and 2 tenths. I can multiply those two together and get the area. Oop, I messed up on that. Area equals 41 and 2 tenths times 23 and 75 hundredths. So there's the area, and remember this is inches, and for area it's always squared. So the area will be whatever you found in inches squared. Good job. We'll see you on the next one.